What is up, Parmaniacs? Paustis is here. We are back in the world of all the mods we remix, and my wife's around here somewhere. Hi. I see her on the map. Oh, uh, we did upgrade the pack to the latest version, um, and that made this happen. If you stand right here, you can you can hear the uh, the gentle hum of mechanism. Yeah, yeah, best best stuff in the game, right? Right. Um, I also wanted to show you guys our little experiment here has gone a little crazy. We, uh, it actually kind of got really nasty. We, we ended up with two, I think, I think Cat put like 10,000 items in something and it, it went a little ape shit. We had, uh, another rift here, which made another, um, taint titty over here, but we've got an active taint. Uh, whatever they're called, the, the, that thing right there. Up there. I call them taint titties. I don't know what they actually are, but that's, that's one right there. It is actively spraying everywhere and has created this, uh, this very beautiful hellscape here. Um, we've, I basically scanned everything there is to scan here. There's nothing else for me to scan that I know of. Um, ow. So I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill the uh, the taint titty so that it, it stops spreading because we, we don't want it going too crazy. Did you want me to leave it or did you want me to kill it, babe? I'm gonna kill it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because this is uh, a little ridiculous. Oh my God, that thing has got... Was that a silverfish? I heard a silverfish. All right, let's uh, make sure our coins on. There's EXP. Jump up here, and make sure I got all the stuff from him. I think that's it. Can I step on that? No, that's actually a liquid taint. Okay. So yeah. Um. Oh my God, that taint geyser. Oh, that's what they do. They literally spew liquid taint out everywhere. Baby, remember that giant cluster of oak trees that we had before? <laughs> Holy God, that thing is huge! Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it, uh, at the very, very top of it, it has a tank geyser. And the tank geyser just erupted in taint everywhere. And then that taint, yeah. it, it's now pouring down the sides of the tree and it, it's spawning taint slimes everywhere. Oh, and we've got another tear in reality. And I hear a silverfish somewhere. Yeah. I think they're in the tree. Oh my god, it's disgusting. I mean, the good news is I'm getting a ton of these little, uh... There he is. Dude, the worms are in the tree. Oh, it's n oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, they're like halfway up there. I don't see them anymore. There's at least one or two more up there somewhere. That's fucking nasty. Anyways, now that we've killed that geyser and everything, you'll see that the taint levels are now rapidly dropping. The uh, rift here. Whoa, hello. The rift should clear it all out, um, and the rest of the stuff will slowly fade as long as that rift doesn't spawn another titty. So I'll have to uh, check. What? Oh, that actually. Was, then I've been getting hit by taint for so long. I didn't actually think there was something actually there hitting me. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I cleared all that stuff. Oh, there's another one right there. Good way to get these uh, taint crystals if you need them. Oh, another damn slime. It's funny, the slimes kill, like, seem to just die on impact once they get out of the liquid taint. Uh, which is just spewing out everywhere. Oh, those, oh, that is a huge one. 
Well, the good news is we got plenty of slime balls. I'm surprised they're not, like, taint slime balls or something. Uh, let's break this real quick. I want that gem. Wait a minute, here we go. Let's do it this way. Hello? Oh! Hello, buddy. What did I just get? Nine crystals? Oh, wow. Oh, so all of them have... All of the little dots there are actually tank crystals. So killing this stuff... Makes all that stuff drop, because, well, no, maybe not. I thought it did. Maybe it's just tainted wood. Yeah, we're definitely not getting any more from the trees. Okay. So it's it's just the little buggers that are dropping it. Which is fine. Maybe be careful though. I'm taking a lot of damage. There's another one up there. Got him. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna get out of here. We have a we have a rather large amount of tainted logs, should we need some in the future. I can't really get up there to those taint geysers that are way the hell up there. Um 96, 95, 94. It does seem like even with those geysers, though, the value is dropping. And that's basically all being seeped into this uh, this little rift in reality. What I'm going to have to be careful of, though, is those rifts in reality as they, as they eat the taint quite frequently. Uh, do we have another onion salad? We don't. Uh, they quite frequently spawn another uh, taint titty, so... I'll have to check on this in a little while. Oof. What a mess. Anyways, that's uh, that's what these look like when they get get absolutely wild and crazy. Let me make a couple pieces of food real quick. Kind of dying here, literally. Uh, do we have enough for tacos, or am I missing something? Guess I'll make... Whoops! Nope, don't want to make that. I can make one taco salad make all the cheese as we drain the milk and I think what are we missing we are missing taco shells it looks like and we're getting kind of low on everything else I really need to go through and eight of eight or ten of ten these it's just it takes so whoops it takes so long to do it There we go. It takes so long to do it, so I, I hate messing with it, but um, it's one of those things that, that's going to pay dividends if I just will actually get around to doing it and stop being a lazy piece of shit. There we go. And taco salad. Two, three, four. That's a good number. It's better than zero. And we can eat that real quick and scarf it down. All right, so um, we've been working on... Thomcraft pretty hard. I kind of wanted to finish it up so that we can move on, um, but I'm not sure how actually realistic that is. Um, Kat's helped me by changing up some of the colors of the candles. Apparently there's a maximum limit. So uh, this uh, basically the more candles you have of a s single color, the more diminishing returns they, they come in for um, stability. So you want different colors so that you have a better, more stable setup. So, um, what my plan is for today, and most of this is going to be off camera, I'm going to research a ton of stuff, and then I'm going to show you guys the cool things, because, I mean, there is a lot of cool stuff in here, but I mean, like, an arcane lamp, do you really care about an arcane lamp? I mean, I don't. Uh, so, we're, we're going to, I'm going to basically chew through some of this stuff, because we're we're 21 episodes in, and I want to kind of progress to some other stuff now, uh, whether that's blood magic or, um, you know, whatever it may be. If you have a mod you would like me to look at, 
please leave that in the comment section below. Uh, keep in mind, I am recording this on Tuesday, August 6th. You won't be seeing it till Friday or Monday. So there's a bit of a delay. So, you know, also, if you if you join the uh, the, the Pyromaniacs on YouTube with uh, a paid subscription, uh, please don't be upset if it takes a few days for me to uh, get your name in the credits. Because, again, if I record you know, 10 episodes one week, and then you subscribe on Wednesday of that week, Thursday and Friday, obviously are already recorded, already uploaded, already encoded. Um, you will be in the next batch of videos. So don't take it. Please don't take it personally. I'm not missing you or skipping you for any reason. It just takes me a bit. Uh, that being said, we're going to, uh, play around with some of this stuff, try and make some progress and see what we can do. So I will show you guys the cooler stuff here in a few minutes. All right, so one of the things that I've been messing around with that's been driving me nuts is uh, the farm out here. The farm, and you'll notice there's been some changes, and I'll go over those here in a second. Um, we haven't been able to keep enough wheat or um, lettuce and tomatoes. Now, I'm going to be expanding this soon, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, mainly because I've still got a 10 and 10 these and 10 and 10 these. Um, I have made, as you can see, a ridiculous amount of uh wheat and this is all 10 of 10 you can see my inventory is empty right now and if we uh gather everything here gives us about two and a quarter stacks which is quite a bit of wheat i'm just gonna throw it in here for now um, nice thing about this is it can also be used for herba and victus so if i ever need any of herba or victus we have plenty of room for it. Um, I might slightly expand uh, this here. I'm gonna remove onions and the industrial flaxseed, the carrots and the beets because we just don't need those anymore. So I need to map this out and I'll go over this here in a minute. Um, but you can see we've got, well, actually the, the growth isn't working yet. Let's uh, let's head over so I can show you that real quick before we get into the next part. So, uh, one of the things, whoops, wrong one. One of the things I've been working on, and I still don't know why these aren't growing. I've turned all the lights off, hoping they will. If anybody knows why those aren't growing, let me know. Um, you can see we've got plenty of herba over here. I mean, like, holy shit, we have enough herba. Actually, that one's not full, is it? No, I want to take full ones. Um, you can also see we've got quite a bit of Victus. It's because I've been using wheat to fill these up and the reason i've been doing that is is this over here this is a lamp of growth it is a lamp that um speeds up the growth process of all plants in its vicinity now the problem with it is a couple it's it's kind of twofold is that here yeah okay um they can be stacked it doesn't really grow all that fast, and it has a really whomper jawed, uh, that's a word, um, radius. So for instance, it's like one, two, three, four, five to the southwest and southeast, but the northeast and northwest, it's six. And I don't know which directionality that's based off, so we're just gonna do five by five. Why we would ever do something that's not just pure five by five. I, I don't know. Um, I'm just convinced the guy who made Thomcraft is a is a masochist and just likes making people suffer. Um, not only that, but the warded jars cannot be accessed any way other than the top, which means you have to do this stupid T-bar thing here to access them. Um, it's quite possible I could use the sprayer to spray to it. Um, and coincidentally, the lamp can only function from the bottom or the... I think it's the side. I don't believe you can do it from the top. Yeah, you can't do it from the top. It's the bottom and the sides. So I had planned to hang it from the top, but that wouldn't work. So we're going out the bottom, which again, makes no sense, but it is what it is. So we're gonna jack this up real quick. Um, I've hooked it up now to, you'll see the lamp is now on, where a minute ago it was off. And again, I, I don't know how much of a boost this does, I have 10 of 10 crops, so they grow pretty quick now, regardless. But um, this does boost things, and 
you can see they're growing pretty quickly. Which is nice. Um, with 500 uh, herba here, this is going to last a long time. So we're going we're gonna to very quickly uh, be running into issues with, uh, with storage with our wheat. So now that I've solved our wheat problem and soon our tomato and our lettuce problem, we have a couple options. Um, I can make a farm very similar to what we've got over here and I can dump it into drawers or we can do some of the magic that uh, we've got and kind of play around with it. Again, this is not one of those optimized setups. It's more one of those for funsies setups, uh, if that makes sense. There are definitely better ways to do this. So um, to show you artifice, I kind of dug into here a little bit. Not much. I just unlocked these three. Uh, lamp of fertility makes your critters grow. Uh, and then lamp of growth just, uh, you know, makes crops grow. I haven't gone much further into this, but we're going to go back over to Golemancy. Uh, under Golemancy here, I've chewed into this line a little bit. I still need to chew into this stuff here, uh, which I'll do off camera. But we do have the setup for the Golem Press, which is apparently where we're going to be creating our golems. Now, I've gone ahead and set that up. Stormcraft, uh Stone Table, Piston, uh, One Iron Bar, a Cauldron, and an Anvil. And if this is all set up right, that should turn into a Golem Press. And it looks like it has, which is great. So here you see all the different parts of the golem. Um, again, I don't know anything about this yet, so I'm going to be playing around with this. But I did want to show you guys the creation of the machine so you guys, you know, didn't wonder what the hell was going on. I'm hoping that this doesn't need aspects, but I'm pretty sure it does. And if it does, I'm going to have to move it. If it does... I'm probably going to, fuck man, I don't know where I'd put it. Cause it has to be in range of this for now uh, to, to get, I don't know. I don't know, we'll deal with it. I might be able to put the sprayer here maybe and it'll suck across, but I, I, don't, I don't know if you can daisy chain suction uh, from these, uh, these filling essentially and transfusers because if so we could get like the emptying because the emptying one's right here and it'll pull but i don't think if i set the emptying one up over here it would pull all the way across and this is a fairly decent four by four structure so i mean i could technically plop it right here you know in this little area but this is gonna be ugly as hell and the wife will kill me so whew, excuse me um I'm going to dick around with it. I got to get the rest of this research done. And then we're going to try and see if we can make golems automate our harvesting process. If I can, then I'm going to try and also get them to automate the herba regeneration process, um, which will and won't work because again, we're going to have modus or not modus victus. So I'd have to find a way to burn victus as well, which, which is where it gets really complicated. And again, not the easiest way or the simplest or most efficient way to do this. That being said, we're going to do it anyway, because fuck it. So stick with me, guys. We'll be right back. All right. I think I have managed to get everything ready, and we're going to find out. Uh, I did want to show you. There's a graphical bug here. Um, there is actually lettuce here. You you just can't see it. Um, I've 10 of 10 all of this lettuce that's just chilling here. Uh, I've got 10 of 10 tomatoes here that are just chilling. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, you can't see it because uh, I honestly have no idea. That may actually be why the authors for All the Mods Remix did not include, <coughs> excuse me, XL Food Mod in uh, AgriCraft, but I'm not sure. So all these sticks that look like they're empty, they're not. It's just a bug. Okay, so we have moved into Golemancy a little bit further than we were before. I don't remember where I was because I recorded that video yesterday. So we're just gonna kind of pick up and uh, and show you guys what we've done. So this is a Geoman uh, a Golemancer's Bell. Real easy, Nether Quartz and River Cane. And once you put that on, you can see the seals. Without it, you can't see the seals. With it, you can see the seals. Now the seals are pretty cheap. Uh, we have two seals. One is the harvest seal. 
which you have to infuse. You need a blank seal, which is just clay, tallow, and some form of red dye and some form of niter. Um, <clears throat> there it is. And then you put that on the infusion table with a bunch of different seeds and some uh, basic aspects, and it will give you the magical crop, or not the magical crops, the harvest option. Now, uh, if I right click this, it's gonna open it up. You're gonna see there's a little gooey here. And importantly, you'll see right here, this is the edges of the farming area that it will do. So I could go a little bit bigger. Uh, I guess I could go one more tink out if we really want to, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with where it is and I don't think we're gonna need to go all the way. Like there's a couple pieces over here that are out. That's fine. It's not gonna be the end of the, end of the world. Uh, one of the critical things to look at though is the requirements. So for instance, right here, you have to have a deft golem and you have to have a smart golem. Now that's something we'll get into here in a second. And then for the uh, one over here that we've got, which is the store, uh, you just can't have clumsy. So that's your that's your two drawbacks there. You can't, you need deft and you need uh, intelligent and you can't have clumsy. So we come over here, <coughs> excuse me, to the, and I've already set this all up, but I'm gonna go ahead and click it back like I didn't. Uh, we have deft right here, we have smart, and we have fragile. So fragile is our drawback. Uh, it's because we're clay, or well, I guess we're great wood actually. Um, you can change these by flipping these little dials here and changing what you want, but that also changes the recipes over here and the requirements. Now we do need 16 machina. Unfortunately, machina cannot be gathered from over here. So we're gonna actually move it over here. And we'll set it over here real quick. And then I just place you down. And if I've got this all figured out, I click this button, it takes all of the resources from me. Now one of them is this biothomic mind, which is kind of a pain. Did it just give it to me or? No, there it is. There he is. Yeah, I made another golem and, and I, that was before I understood the whole seal stuff. So it, it didn't work out well. Um, but these different pieces can be kind of complicated. Like this biothomic mine that you need, you need a complex arcane mechanism, which is two simple arcane mechanisms, which are fairly easy to make. Um, and then you need the, the actual brain itself, which takes another simple arcane mechanism. So it's, it's not hard to make, it's just, you know, a complicated series of steps. <coughs> so, I, why am I walking over there? Oh man, when you when you have a teleporter and you're work, walking anyway. All right, so we're gonna slap this down here and hope he works. Yep, yep. So when we click here, I've got this set priority. It's gonna work for all golems. It should work. He should just do what he's supposed to do. My concern is he may not be able to interact with Agro which is something I haven't tested. So we're gonna test that real quick. And if that's the case, I'm gonna be very mad because that means we just wasted an epic shit ton of time. Is it, wait, we'll move it. We'll, we'll move it right here. Cause I know that one's in. Do I have my bucket on me still? I do. Let's find out. I got a really bad feeling the Thomcraft can't interact. And if that's the case, it is what it is. All right, let's find out. Pour this here. Now, if he runs over and gathers this, it's gonna piss me off. Come on, grow buddy. It's not that hard. Oh my God. And you can't even make one crop grow before you run out of water. Okay, let's try it again. We'll set it to three by three now. And done. Hmm. So he does not seem to be working. Okay. All right, well, let's try hitting him. I will stay here, master. No, I want you to do... There he goes, there he goes. Okay, notice how he grabbed it? Notice how he's grabbing nothing else. There's our problem. Fuck. So it, it doesn't look like he's capable of seeing all of these. Which is a huge issue. I mean, the whole point of the mod, you know, here is to have all these different mods, but sadly it looks like my golem that I spent all this time making is not gonna be able to do what I need. You can go pick it up for me, buddy. 
Or are you broke? Y'all saw him do it. He did it a minute ago. Now, there, there may be, since it is such a big range, um, it may be like a lot of machines in that it scans the area and then eventually goes and gets it. Um, that being said, I, I will look and see if there's a way to make Thongcraft golems work with Agricraft. But what I'm going to probably end up doing is just swapping this over to... Uh, to yep, yeah, there he goes. I'm just going to swap it over to Simple Farms. But that's a golem for you, folks. <laughs> Giant waste of time, but I guess it was kind of cool. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. What's up, guys? Uh, this is the credits for uh, effective as of August 11th, my birthday, 2019, almost at 18. Um, I do want to give some big thanks out to the following folks. Um, and, of course, I just realized I can't even freaking... Oh, good, 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 perfect. OBS, I'll have to minimize you, I guess. All right, there we go. Dagger Cook, nine months. And Cole Walker, nine months. Alex, nine months. Thank all three of you guys for that uh, that support. We, we basically could all have a baby together at this point. Um, big thanks to James Seymour for seven months. Uh, X Legion X and Ronald Weasley. Thank you guys both for six months. Star Wars John Smith, you just hit your one month mark. Killa, you've got ten days, it looks like. Xerxes, Chandler Porter, uh, Michael... Well, actually, we'll go back to Michael Whitaker. Elite Sentinel 2, Coaster 99, and Blackhawk 8100. All of you guys just signed up this week. Thank you so much. Uh, and Coaster 99 and Blackhawk 8100, both of you guys went for the uh, the upgraded Blaze because both of you got more money than cents. And uh, then Michael Whitaker, it looks like you've paid for two months in a row. So that's a lot of faith in me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that support. Uh, for all of you guys, I do appreciate it. Thank you for uh, throwing your money behind me it is it is greatly appreciated and will help me uh, purchase things for the channel um if you guys would like to join this program the join button is down below the ranks there's a variety of features i think depending on which video you're watching this on i go into the detail but two dollars is for the um early access videos five gets you your name in the credits and 10 gets you your name uh, no yes 10 gets you sub server and i believe your name in the videos uh, like uh, if we do XCOM or something along those lines. Um, but if I'm wrong, the ranks do say what they actually do. So trust what the ranks say, not what I say, because y'all know I'm crazy. That being said, folks, I appreciate you guys uh, you know, supporting me. It's, it's a huge help. You guys have a great night, great evening, great weekend, whatever it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.